right, the symphony returns this weekend with a powerhouse of gorgeous music featuring our guest today, Janae Bridges, alongside our good friend Giacomo. Um, welcome in. We were talking about what we are going to be blessed with this weekend on stage. Um, how did you convince Janae to come here? This is like, we're getting her pre Carnegie Hall. Yes. She literally is getting ready to perform there next month. That's right. Yes. How did this all come about? Well, I had seen her. Actually, she's a, quite a, a savvy social media queen. And I had, I had started following her and seeing what she was doing. And I, I had found out through friends of ours, mutual friends of ours. And, you know, I heard her sing online. I was like, oh my gosh, it would be amazing to have her. She's a rising star. She's got such a bright future ahead of herself. She just came from the LA Opera. And this was a very powerful piece that she's performing, Gustav Mahler's Kinder Toten Lieder, which is very heavy and dark and sort of the themes of it are very um, powerful. And you need a voice that can sort of back that up. You can't just have any voice. And once I heard her, I knew she was the one. That is wonderful. Wow. So, Janae, that, Thank you. I mean, <laughs> we were talking before we went on camera. You just got back from L.A., stopping in Amarillo, going to end up being in Carnegie Hall. What is it like to perform in some of the, the, the best space, the, some of the most incredible spaces in the country? I mean, to be honest, sometimes I don't believe what my life is because I, it just it feels so amazing. Yeah. And it feels like fun, like I'm not working because I love it so much. Um, but, you know, I stepped into the Globe News Theater yesterday and my breath was taken away. It is mm. absolutely gorgeous. The acoustic yeah. is incredible. It's the perfect size. And I, I'm just so happy to be singing here in Amarillo, this gorgeous piece of well, music. We are happy that you're here. So tell me why this piece, tell me, tell me why it speaks to you. Particularly. Wow. Well, for many reasons. First of all, I love singing in German. I absolutely love it. Her German is incredible. <laughs> this girl can speak German. You can't believe it. I'm like, nah. do you live in Germany? Do you live in Berlin? Like, what's going on? It's like amazing. It's amazing. Ich muss lernen mehr. I must learn more. But anyways, um, yeah, so I, I'm really attached to the German language. Also, the subject matter, um, you know, it's, it's dark. Yeah. Um, it's about the death of children, but at the same time, there are many themes that go throughout the cycle, like hope and, and um, I don't know, life at the same time. Yeah. So yeah. I, f I feel like, honestly, we're in some interesting times, and I think that it's very relative, and it speaks volumes to today, you know? So... Art always speaks to us. In yes. And, and, and more so and louder in times of trouble than ever. And mm -hmm. so I think that it's I important to do that. Okay, so we mix Mahler and then and one of my favorites, Mozart. Yeah, of course. We got, we got some Bach on there, reimaginings of Bach, which yeah. I love. I love mm -hmm. taking classical pieces of music and reimagining them. You know that I do that in Miami. And, and Stokowski, the famous conductor, mm -hmm. uh, arranger for the Philadelphia Orchestra, arranged some of these Bach works that are so beautiful and massive, really show off the orchestra in virtuosic ways. And then Mozart's Symphony Number no. 41, his last symphony, it actually harkens to Beethoven. It's very exciting. It's very virtuosic. It's very fast. And, and to touch on what you just said earlier about we need it for our souls you know yeah. we need great art and beauty for our yeah. souls and our hearts to help heal and help us move through these times and, and move mm -hmm. through everything that's going on you know our hearts and our hearts go out to all the families in California we yeah. were just talking about that and and it's and you know whenever you have an opportunity to make beautiful music it's a very powerful opportunity and and this week is just one piece after the other just so much beauty and I we, we hope that it really just brings a lot to the community and brings a lot more art and beauty and I, I believe that the first step in healing a lot of times is to focus back on the arts and it yeah. gets you to a good place. So do me a yeah. favor. Um, yeah. Most of the time, these performers, I mean, we talk about you performing in, in Miami. You just got back from Los Angeles. You're going to Carnegie Hall. We have them in Amarillo this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, tickets are next to nothing. I think it's 20 bucks to get in. EmeraldSymphony.org. You can get more information. 376 Eighty-seven, eighty-two. Please remember, if we don't support the arts, no one will. So get out there, be a part of it, and be blessed <laughs> oh, thanks, in the Andy. process. Guys, thank you for being here. Stay tuned. We're headed into the kitchen. 